Let's take a look at the 2024 New Canoe Unlimited and all the built-in features and specs that come on it. So we're going to start in the front and work our way to the back here. So the first thing we're going to notice is going to be the bow handle on our Unlimited. It's a great point to be able to lift up and maneuver our Unlimited. If we remove these, we have three inserts. We can use these three inserts to put a bow motor mount on the front of our Unlimited to put a bow motor, or we can use them as part of the Anchor Wizard system to put an Anchor Wizard mounting bracket on the front of our Unlimited. We have two rod tip protectors on our Unlimited. Again, we can slide our rods in and protect the tips. We have a total of three new canoe wiring plates on our Unlimited. This is gonna be the first one here. We'll see two more as we go down, but they're a great point to be able to cut out and access to put wires through the whole of our Unlimited. When we're looking at the deck of our Unlimited, we're gonna see all these features. This is gonna be the tarpon drainage system that we can put water anywhere on our new canoe and it's gonna quickly run out through the scupper holes using this tarpon drainage system. There's going to be top load aluminum tracks throughout the whole Unlimited. These are going to be the accessory tracks in the bow right here. So the bow accessory tracks. This is a great point for a few things. Uh, we can use our track straps here to be able to put down a battery box or any other kind of storage option. We can also put our buddy seat here if we want to bring a small companion out in the water with us. Uh, one of the big uses for this area is going to be the gear pod for storage on demand. We're going to go slide it in and pull it back off. These top load aluminum tracks are also going to be in the main track set here and throughout the whole boat. That's what our 360 fusion seat is going to go on. We're going to use these top load aluminum tracks to be able to adjust forward and backwards our seat position. Uh, this 360 seat comes standard on the new Canoe Unlimited, and like the same name says, can go 360 just like that. And it does use the brand new 2024 uh, spin grip knobs. That are. We have another piece of accessory track right here in the hole of our Unlimited. This is going to be the basic decking kit here, and it's going to do three things for us. One noise reduction when we're out in the water. If we drop anything, it's going to keep us quiet so we're not spooking fish. It's also going to be comfort when we're out in the water. If we're standing up all day, it's going to remove fatigue and it's going to get us up on the water. The third thing it's going to do is it's going to give us more traction. When we're out there, if we're wet, anything's going on, this is going to give us added traction on our Unlimited. This is the basic decking kit. There is a completion decking kit available. When we're looking at the deck here, we're also going to see these. These are going to be the scupper holes and there's going to be seven of them. So what we talked about that tarpon drainage system funnels all the water right through there. Right here, this one's gonna be slightly different. This is gonna act as a scupper hole, but it's also gonna be for our transducer retract system here. So you can put your transducer on the underside of your new canoe unlimited, use the TRH system to be able to pull that transducer up into the cavity and keep it safe. We have cutouts on either side of our new canoe unlimited right here. And this is gonna be for storage, uh, plano boxes, other type of tackle storage in that realm. We also have two more uh, wire access plates right here. Again, be able to cut them out, use them as you need. Combo handle is one on each side of our new canoe unlimited and it's going to allow with this cutout here to be able to put a paddle in and lock it in on the side of our unlimited. Right here, there's two inserts. This is going to be for a quick connect uh, hand steering option. It's going to bolt in right here. So our hand toggle is going to go right there. With the quick connect system, we're also going to have the retract for the quick connect system. So the big wheel pulley is going to be right here and it's going to allow us to have a retracting for that quick connect system. That quick connect system is going to be for a pivot drive new canoe EPS and for the rudder system. Working way back on the boat a little bit, we're going to see that we also have more gunnel tracks right here. So again, there's four throughout the whole boat. We have two right here and two up here. Thanks. We, have enough. we have two more sets of accessory tracks. This is going to be the stern accessory tracks in the back of our Unlimited here. Great points, but uh, track straps, and be able to track strap down battery boxes or other gear solutions, black packs, things like that. We have two flush mount rod holders right here on the side. We also have a pad eye here, which is again part of that quick connect to retract system. It's going to be a line guy as the it comes back. But we also have our scupper plugs here. Like we talked about, there are seven scupper holes on our Unlimited. We plug those. That's how we're going to get our, ma our max weight capacity for our new canoe Unlimited. We have two indents on the side of our Unlimited here. And these are going to be uh, points to be able to access, uh, run some wires. You could run like a Marine Co plug or any other type of plug right here. This is going to be our deck plate. If we open up our deck plate, it's going to give us access into the hull of our new canoe. There's a deck plate storage bag option that you can put in here, and that's where you can put your dry goods or anything else you want to keep dry when you're out in the water. We have our stern handle on our new canoe unlimited here. It's a great access point for lifting and maneuvering our unlimited. Uh, we have our last set of gunnel trucks right here. This is going to be the signature square transom of new canoe, and this is going to allow us to run our quick connect system off of it. Again, pivot drive. EPS motors and our rudder system are all going to run here. We can also put uh, an outboard motor bracket right here to put an outboard motor. We can also run 
our transom motor plate, and that's what allows to help run our electric tiller motors. There is a drain plug on the side, just in case we get any water into the hole. And that's gonna be the 2024 New Canoe Unlimited with all the features and specs. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and go to newcanoe.com.